Hey, welcome back to Coding Games in Python. In this video, we'll talk about how to create animated walking sprites. Uh, let me actually just show you first uh, what we're going to try to do. Um, so let's uh, run this. Okay, we have a set of uh, sp uh, textures. And we're going to, as the, the sprite walks around, it's going to change to those textures. Walking right, walking left, walking up. And walking down, and then standing. Yeah, so that is that's what we would like to do in this video. Okay, so let me kind of um, go to this real quick uh, through the lecture notes. So in the previous video, we talked about some common types of sprites. We talked about facing right, facing left sprite. We talked about time sprite, like uh, an explosion sprite, where uh, all the textures are drawn every uh, certain number of frames or every time interval. And then in this video, we'll talk about how to create walking sprite, where a character is walking around, as uh, you saw in the demo. So Arcade actually have a, a class called Animated Walking Sprite class. It allows us to kind of specify walking and standing textures for our characters, and then it changes them accordingly as we move our characters. Um, this class, however, is only used for a 2D arcade game where the view is top-down. Uh, for example, a player is walking around to various rooms below and the view is from the ceiling looking down so this is very limited um, and so we're gonna look at the source code to understand it and learn how to use it uh, and this is important because uh, once we learn how to use it or understand the source code uh, next time when we write a game that is a, a side view platformers we know how to basically copy and paste it and then modify it so that it fits with uh, other view platformers so this is a uh, very important to kind of understand the code Okay, so let's um, look at this. Uh, so here I am on GitHub. This is the source code for Arcade, and I'm in the sprite.py. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the, the main class here. This is the sprite class. We've been we've been using that, but down below here is the, is the animated walking sprite uh, class, which uh, derived from sprite. Uh, it has a constructor. It has a center x, center y, etc. Uh, but a very important thing here is that. I uh, notice it has um, some uh, textures for standing right, standing left, walking left, walking right, walk up, walk down. Uh, these are initially none. And then it has uh, an index which starts at zero. And as the index uh, goes to, uh, increases, then we are cycling through uh, various textures. And then because uh, this is a walking sprite, we need a, a texture change distance, uh, which is 20 in this case. That means that if we walk 20 pixel, then our texture is going to change to the next texture, etc. And then this keeps track of uh, the last time we changed our texture, the center x, center y, so that uh, if we far away enough from the last change, we need to change again, uh, etc. So these are the kind of the uh, attributes that we need to um, uh, know how to work with. Okay, so here's the update animation. So this is the uh, function that will basically pick the use the logic to pick the right texture, and as we're walking. It knows how to um, change the textures to uh, to accommodate uh, our walking. Okay, so this is if we understand this method, then we should be good. So let's go to this. Uh, this first part is very simple. It look at the current position x1, y1, and it looks at the the last position where the the last texture change happened. So this is the last position. Uh, this is an attribute, so we will we'll save this as we go along. But so key is that we have to find the distance between the current position and the last time we changed texture position and if that distance is uh, 20 or bigger then we're going to change our texture so that's going to come out uh, a little bit later and then there's a texture list uh, which is initially empty okay so the first logic is to kind of see whether we change direction um, and that's very simple so for example if we are if our velocity in the x direction is positive which means we're going right if we're going right uh, and our y velocity is zero that means we're only going right and if we're not facing right, um, and if we have, uh, if there's some walk, walk right textures to be used, and the length of it, so in other words, if this is not none, and that there are some images uh, in this um, uh, in this list of walk right textures, if all those are true, then that means that we must have changed direction because we were uh, we're, we're going right, but we were not previously going right, and so if that's the case, we we say that change direction is true and then we set our state to be now face right so I hope that makes sense and that's the and the rest of it is very similar um, checking velocity so that we see whether we uh, um, uh, so this is so that means we go on left 
and and we're not going up or down and if we're not already facing left and then we, and we have texture to work with then that means that we uh, have changed direction and we want to change our state to face left and then same thing for face down and and face up so that already will set our state to face in a certain direction um, okay again we only face that direction if we have texture to to work with Okay, and then here, uh, the logic here is that uh, if uh, we're not moving at all, if change x and change y are both zero, then that means that we have to be facing a direction, but we're not really moving. So, uh, so if our state is face left, then we're gonna our current texture to be drawn. Our current texture is is take the first image of the stand left texture. If we're facing right, take the first image of the stand right texture. If we're facing up, then uh, and we're not moving again. Then we take the first image of the walk up texture, and then similarly, if we face down and we're not uh, moving, then we take the first image of the walk down texture. Um, and then, uh, and then here's uh, here's what things are happening. If we change direction, or if our distance is at least uh, the texture change distance. In other words, if we either change direction or we move far enough, then we want to remember this current position. Because this new position will be the 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 last texture change uh, position, and then uh, the logic here is to kind of see whether we we're facing left, right, up or down, and to set the texture list be uh, be uh, the correct list. Face left, I take the left texture. Face right, I take the right texture, etc. Um, and finally, uh, once we figure out what uh, the texture list to use and the direction we're facing, then we can cycle through our index at plus one. And if I add, if I, by adding one, I'm still within the right uh, range, then I, I want to cycle back to zero. So this will cycle through all the textures in a certain direction. And finally, we set the texture to be that uh, texture index. So that's basically it. That's basically the logic for setting the the texture. And so if we were to write code to kind of use this, um, here's the here's the code. Uh, I want to create a class, called, a player class that uh, derive animated walking sprite. So really, I'm gonna just copy and paste this um, and make some small changes to it. Okay, so my constructor here will take center x, center y, and a scale of one. Um, and notice this constructor takes center x, center y, and then other stuff, and also a scale. Uh, and so when I, uh, I'm gonna super init uh, and send over center x, center y, and then the scale. And then uh, uh, all these we need to initialize, so we're going to set these to be empty lists, and then we're going to populate them with images, uh, and then and then use them. So, so all these will be empty. And I want, um, in fact, and I want this last texture change to be the center x. So my my first position is center x and center y. So I want that to be the first time I want to um, to have a, a last texture change. Okay, that's basically the the init. Uh, just to kind of initialize that. But now we have to kind of populate these with uh, with textures. So uh, in images here, I have a bunch of walk down, walk up. Each of the direction has three images. So I'm gonna basically do a bunch of for loops and populate uh, these lists. So for i in range from one to four, meaning from one to three, um, I'm gonna create a texture. Well, let's see the texture name is uh, I'm using f string again, and this is walk. Let's do uh, walk right first. And then I'm going to do uh, f string here. This is i. The formatting is two numbers, and then padding uh, on the left with zeros. And I want this to be a dot png. So that's the name. Then I want to create the texture uh, by calling rk dot load texture uh, with texture name. And then I'm gonna just uh, populate. Uh, so this is the um, walk right. So I need to uh, walk right texture append it to this list. Yeah, that's basically it. So we just create a a bunch of images, add it to this uh, list. I also have to do this for the other ones. So I'm gonna copy this and just uh, paste it. Okay, so the next thing is going to be let's do walk left, and this would be 
walk left um, and then again I'm just going to do um, walk up and then this would be walk up that's right and then one more time and now this will be walk down so this will load all my textures and that's basically it that's my that's my my class so I'll go to the main app uh, and then I'm just gonna create a player uh, I'm gonna call that just player and I need so I look at my class I need a center X center Y and maybe a, uh, a scale so I'll put this as uh, maybe it's 200 300 and maybe scale of uh, 0 0.5 or something uh, so there's my player and I'm gonna draw my player again I could put this into an, uh, um, a sprite list but let's just make it simple here and then I'm gonna also update my uh, player and that's before I have a code for moving the player etc and also I need to also call my um, update animation because that's the that's the function that we looked over earlier that's to provide the logic for changing all the textures if we did this correctly then this should work so let's run that okay so it says face right is not defined so let's go back so I actually don't want this um, yeah, so this has already been initialized in the walking uh, sprite, so we can just remove that. Save this, do this again. Okay, so did I misspell something? Oh, I think I might forgot to write. I think my uh, directory is not right. It should be uh, images. So I want these to be images, images, images. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> okay, out of ba uh, out of bounds. So let's see. The animation is out of bound. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot to do something. I also forgot to do uh, for. Um, so if I'm walking right, if I is uh, zero a uh, one in the first image uh, from the walk right, I also want to append that to um, uh, stand right. So remember, we need we, we forgot to initialize the stand right texture. Dot append. So I take the first uh, image of the walk right and append that to. Um, uh, stand right. I also want to do the same thing for uh, um, walk left. So, so if it's the first image, then I'll I'll put that in uh, in stand left. So again, uh, this uh, bunch of images here. I pick the first one. I put it. If I'm uh, not moving, then I pick the first image and I'll put that in stand left um, list. Okay, so sorry about all those mistakes. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. It works. Okay, so again, this only works for um, a top-down view um, uh, games, and so if we want to do like platformers like Mario, we have to kind of uh, do uh, um, other things. But uh, the, the idea is that we once we understand the logic for uh, this class, we can modify, it. copy and pa paste this, and then modify it. To, to do what we want. Okay, I think that's all I want to talk about today in this uh, video. Thanks for watching.